Okay, here's an interesting find from the middle of this year. Um, ancient pyramids shock. How tombs older than the Egyptian pyramids reveal cannibal horrors. Of course, this has got to be a grab moment here for people trying to find it, but ancient tombs predating the Egyptian pyramids in Giza have revealed a time of prehistoric horror and cannibalism in the Stone Age, archaeologists have claimed. And where this is is quite strange. For pyramid-like structures hidden across north-central Poland have stunned archaeologists with evidence of blood-curdling Neolithic rituals. These so-called Polish pyramids in the Kuravayan Pomeranian region are believed to predate the Great Pyramids of Giza by thousands of years. Archaeologists estimate the tombs were built between the 4th and 3rd millennium BC, making them at the very least a thousand years older than the Pyramid of Cheops, which was the time of the Stone Age or Neolithic when well-defined cultures were emerging across ancient Poland. And uh, I've shown you recent videos, uh, let's see, going back in order, I guess, the island of Majorca, and that there's a pyramid built on there that they have strange dating on. But better than that, there's one up in Greece at Hierakonopolis that they use the same dating method on the Great Pyramid in itself, and it showed to be a little bit older if not the same age, but possibly older than that. Now we're finding these pyramid structures, not in Sumeria, not there, but up in a Poland type of area, and they show something neat and different to what I believe is a remnant of ramps. But uh, in, in one s statement, they said that there are over 20 that have been found of these. So another guy said three but I think that was the actual excavation spot where right here within each other there were three right there and I think they're going to talk about those in this. Now the unusual tombs, uh, stone tombs and they're stone much like their Egyptian counterparts were fashioned from great big slabs of stone. Right? But the comparisons in there because the Polish pyramids were neither as grand and were built flat across the land. Well, they have a pyramid shape to them, but then they have this pyramid too on the ground, and that's what makes it look very different. But I believe that pyramid on the ground thing is a remnant left of perhaps the ramp that goes to build it, because two pictures I've seen so far, it's not the same one, show this exact same thing left at a certain point. Whereas the other one, it's all taken away and leaving the pyramid there that leaves the drought behind. So let's look at this. The tombs are triangular in shape and extend in one direction for quite a distance before tapering off. And I think that's the ramp. The structures are slightly raised above the ground and their burial chambers are set into the soil with entrances to the outside world. Right? And so here's one of these objects, but it's all melted down long ago and gotten ruined. And they show this skull that goes with it here. But it tapers off and down here at the end. And you can imagine they might have used this ramp to roll up stones and to get them on the top of the surface. We'll see a picture later where it looks like this. But of course the, the grabber story is not the fact that they've found uh, pyramids and pyramids that predate the Egyptian ones in Poland. The story is, well, uh, out of some of these they found evidence of cannibalism that they can't really date on any certain people like the actual people there or somebody broke in later and trying to make it through a winter. They don't, they don't have any clue. But there is telltale signs that it was looking like cannibalism and we'll Get to that in just a moment here. Um, archaeologists who examined these entrances were stunned to discover the remains of gnawed on human bones, though. Not that they just found bones and everything and what that's telling. So 
this story is geared a certain way and instead of telling you the true archaeology and this one thing that's kind of a isolated incident out of them is looked at as being a oh, wow now look at that look at that but I want to mention that they're not really touting the fact that they found pyramids in Poland that predate the ones in Egypt and a few more clues from the past reveal the unfortunate denizens were likely eaten by whoever killed them and so it may have they may have actually killed somebody and taken them into this ancient tomb and ate them and that those bones may not have even been the original inhabitant too so they're going to have to get deeper into this and i will look into it as it comes out and from a site other than this one with its directives an information plaque from a historical site in the village of wide sowery singaga yeah i'm going to tear that one up whites let's see white certs I, I i know we're close it's about 50 centimeters above the central grave another interesting cavity was discovered it turned out it was a dugout earthwork for a mass grave so this might be where people are buried in conjunction with a ruler and so on like that, which is seen in the earliest Sumerians and the earliest Egyptian dynasty somewhat too. So, The exact number of people buried there could not have been determined. The discovery bones uh, could have been blonde in two to nine individuals. Oh, it could have belonged to two or to nine individuals. I don't think they were blonde, but I bet there were some blonde people in that looking at the... Uh, area that they're talking about so what is surprising is one part of the bones was likely burned and intentionally broken perhaps to gain access to the marrow so this might have been somebody trying to save their life during the winter or something like that or it could have been somebody who killed somebody else and then ate them all the way up and including the marrow who, who knows it's a little bit of uh you know suggestive type things that's going on here rather than leaving it wide open signs suggesting biting or the tearing of muscles were also observed on two thigh bones and i wonder if that does correlate to human bite type patterns surely it would be or they wouldn't mention this all of this could be interpreted as evidence of a cannibal feast or massed offering towards a deceased the site is an archaeological reserve established in an area settled around 5,500 years ago. So, apparently, it was primordial to the site that later got set up 5,500 years ago, which would be 3,500 B.C., at least predating the starting of Egypt by four or 500 years. But the tombs date to before that, another four or five hundred years and you wonder if something happened in that secondary move and they can't really tell the difference but it's quite ne quite neat here that they found polish pyramids some of the polish pyramids measure as much as 492 foot in length and the stones used in their construction weigh in at seven to ten tons so we're going to look at a couple of these pictures here in this article and it seems to be geared more towards the other thing than the fact that, look at this, we found these pyramids. Archaeological evidence shows only men were buried in the stone monolithic tombs and the constructions housed wooden structures for ceremonial rites. The tombs most likely belonged to important warlords, leaders, priests, and other important figureheads of the time. In one of the tombs, researchers found the remains of a man who underwent trepanation, which is the process of making a surgical hole in the head, like early brain surgery type thing. Isn't that neat? So you can look at this here, too, and whenever they dug this all the way out, they had found the bones and everything, and they had taken all of the earthen mound and the other stones all out of what built up this square here and thrown it out. And then if you'll look, they took dirt from all of this and threw it out too, looking through it. And see how it goes on down, down, down. And then I think it's more like a ramp. We'll see a, another picture of one. 
The reserve's website states the deceased, a person high up in the tribal hierarchy, was buried in a straightened position at the helm of the tomb. So instead of them burying them on their sides and curled up, he looked like he was in a straightened position, like you see the Egyptians later, but in the pre-dynastic week and the uh, forms from around there, we definitely see them curled up in that primordial womb type of thing beforehand. Sometimes two to three individuals were buried simultaneously this way, so they're indicating they found quite a few of these. Pots and clay spoons, flint relics, arrowheads and hatchets and war axes have survived to our times, so they put them in with a burial cache. The amount of effort put into raising these structures is undoubtedly evidence of a strong tribal bond in the social variety or existence of tribal leaders. Well, but I think you can determine that. So here's one done of it, and you can see these giant stones that are brought into place. And no, they don't seem like they are lock-a-block into place with each other and stuff as this later stonework seems to be. But it also seems to be outside of the earthen works. And perhaps there were stones at one time that were stolen. But we have to look into this much further. But if you look at this effigy here, what we have is a cut off the head top pyramid or a trapezoid. And then a ramp that literally runs down and off at the end. Yeah, and it tapers down from that. And then, so if this is just unfinished in some way. You would think that people were rolling them up here and building all of it. And uh, I know from experience you can build a house while standing on the slab and never really have to get off the slab. So you could stand up on this and build it inward and fill it up and inward and so on. It's fairly easy to figure out how to do it. It's a neat picture. Stone structures were flat but very long so it's flat topped here and a lot of the ones they found are flat topped but isn't that amazing huh quick facts about the Egyptian pyramids archaeologists have discovered more than 130 pyramids across the sandy landscape of Egypt the history of ancient Egypt is divided in the old King kingdom middle kingdom and new kingdom eras and in between they have little mm, intermediate periods as they call the famous Queen Cleopatra was not an Egyptian, but a Greek Macedonian and a descendant of the Ptolemaic dynasty installed during Alexander the Great's conquest. There are three chambers in the Great Pyramid, one of which remains unfinished, and it's the one down at the bottom, and I'm fixing to do a video that talks about the layers, in, and it almost works with a karma situation, and your uh, chakras, and so on, that hooks up on the inside chambers of the pyramid. And uh, it's just one look at an aspect of a thought. But uh, The ancient Egyptians invented one of the first forms of writing, a form of paper known as papyrus. And uh, yeah, but the original first form of writing is, of course, the ancient Sumerian dialect and its ideograms and the uh, what's known as the Tartarus tablets that have that same ideograms on them. And this showed a connection to those people, actually, and it makes it a pretty easy connection to them. And it makes a connection into the first ivory tablets that you see in the same way in pre-dynastic Egypt. It's a pretty easy connection that's made there. Anyhow, um, I think it's pretty cool that they have found pyramidic structures. And no, it's not an exacting pyramid yet, but it's something along that line. And it is a tapered, large non-topped pyramid trapezoid shape yeah so Poland has found all these pyramids and I don't know if it was two or three in this area and this is other people talking about the same one and this is the picture of that same one that's dug out later or if this is different ones and there actually is roughly about 20 of these they found so far now that they will know what they're looking for and of course, a lot of these can be overgrown by forest and things, you know, like the ones up in China are getting planted over and so on. And uh, I wonder if it's a total 
stone structure on the inside of this, but it's just grown over with earthen works. They don't really show it to act as such, but, uh, yeah. Anyhow, guys, like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy, and we're on to the next. Peace.